Magandang araw mga ka-Aerial Defense may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may bagay tayong pag-uusapan, President Marcos nagbitiw ng mabibigat na salita laban sa ginagawa ng China, pero bago tayo magpatuloy wag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Isang ang magandang balita ito matapos nga ilantad lahat ni President Bongbong Marcos sa ASEAN ang lahat ng ginagawa ng China sa ating karagatan sa West Philippine Sea, dumating si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos sa Indonesia upang daluhan ang isasagawang ASEAN meeting doon, kung saan mag-uusap-usap ang mga leader ng bansa sa ASEAN, sa isinagawang meeting doon ay umapila na rin si President Marcos sa ASEAN dahil sa mga ginagawa ng China sa atin, Nagbitiw nga siya ng mga mabibigat na salita sa ASEAN meeting laban sa agresibong galaw ng China sa ating teritoryo, narito po ang buong video panoorin po ninyo. Your Majesty, Excellencies, our vision for the South China Sea is, as a, peace, is a sea of peace, stability, and prosperity. Today, sadly, this remains a distant reality. For our part, the Philippines will continue to work with all the countries to foster a rules-based international order. We remain committed to the peaceful resolution of disputes in the South China Sea in accordance with international law. We will continue to uphold and exercise freedom of navigation and overflight in the South China Sea in accordance with international law, including, of course, the 1982 UNCLOS. But let me be clear. We do not seek conflict, but it is our duty as citizens and as leaders to always rise to meet any challenge to our sovereignty, to our sovereign rights, and our maritime jurisdictions in the South China Sea. No country would expect any less. No country would do any less. The Philippines firmly rejects misleading narratives that frame the disputes in the South China Sea solely through the lens of strategic competition between two powerful countries. This not only denies us our independence and our agency, but it also disregards our own legitimate interests. We once more call upon all parties for self-restraint on activities that complicate disputes in the South China Sea. We must not undermine regional peace stability, and security. We cannot emphasize enough that actions, not words, should be the ultimate measure of our commitment to securing peace and stability in the South China Sea. Anything else simply does not suffice. We therefore seek your support for the opera operationalization of practical measures such as, a, such as the ADMM guidelines for maritime interaction which we envision will be expanded to our external partners in due time. The Philippines is also pleased to have hosted the second ASEAN multilateral naval exercise of Sambales and Bataan, and the 40th meeting of the JWD DOC in Manila to expedite the negotiations for a substantive and effective code of conduct in the South China Sea. As tensions and mistrust between the great powers escalate, so too does the prospect of miscalculation that threatens to engulf the region with the severest consequences for all of us. It is imperative that we leverage the ASEAN regional architecture to serve as a diplomatic bridge that promises mutual understanding, strategic trust, and peaceful settlement of disputes. History will ultimately judge whether the supremacy of the rule of law prevails, ushering in an era where all nations truly stand as equals, independent and unswayed by any single outside power. The challenge for us remains that we must never allow the international peaceful order to be subjected to the forces of might applied for a hegemonic ambition. The future of peace rest now on how we, together, face this challenge to that peace. Thank you and good afternoon. Sa isa pang ASEAN meeting kasama ang mga kinatawan ng China, matapang na binuksan ni President Marcos ang usapin tungkol sa agawan ng teritoryo, 
Dito natin makikita ang tapang ng isang leader na harap-harapang sinasabi sa China ang mga maling ginagawa nila sa teritoryo natin, dahil nga sa pag-open na ito ni President Marcos sa ASEAN-China meeting tungkol sa agawan ng teritoryo sa West Philippine Sea, iginiit niya na ang United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea ang dapat pa rin masunod. Napabor naman sa Pilipinas at legal, narito nga po ang buong video ng matapang na pagharap ni President Marcos sa China patungkol sa usaping teritoryo, panuorin po ninyo. Uh, Your Majesty, Your Excellencies, His Excellency uh, Premier Li Chang, I am uh, happy for this opportunity to join the 26th ASEAN-China Summit. It is an important opportunity to reaffirm and build on our relations under the framework of the ASEAN-China Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. This year marks the 20th anniversary of China's accession to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia, a valuable commitment by our countries to universal multilateralism and the rules-based international order. Such cooperation can only help achieve our aspiration that, once again, ASEAN will be the epicenter of growth. The ongoing ASEAN-China Free Trade Area 3.0 upgrade negotiations will also encourage stronger ties between ASEAN and China. It is also our hope that we identify and leverage on complementarities between China's Belt and Road Initiative and the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific. To further expand mutual trade, efforts at enhancing ASEAN connectivity and supply chains must come to fruition. Among the priority areas of the A AOIP, maritime cooperation is especially significant to the Philippines as an archipelagic nation. We must emphasize that practical cooperation in the maritime domain can only flourish with an enabling environment of regional peace, security, stability, anchored in international law. The Philippines, therefore, continues to uphold the primacy of the 1982 UN Convention under the Law of the Sea as the framework within which all activities in the seas and oceans are conducted. We once again reaffirm our commitment to the rule of law and peaceful settlements of disputes. We are pleased that the last negotiations on the Code of Conduct in the South China Sea, held in Manila a few weeks ago, that some progress was made in discussing the milestone issues and the preliminary review of the single draft negotiating text. The early conclusion of an effective and substantive COC that is in accordance with international law, including the 1982 UNCLOS, remains the goal for ASEAN and for China. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video, para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout mag-comment lamang po at share, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, Pwede ka rin manalo ng pera or load dito kapag ikaw ay naging top fan nito at napili, huwag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe. Pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video. Maraming salamat po.